earth um i uh got uh, was invited to join a zoom to meet uh Dan, David and Alex, whilst I was filming Doctor Strange. And, uh, you know, they, they just did, I didn't, there was no script. I was quite curious and suspicious why there was three showrunners involved for this project, which I knew nothing about. And then they sent me a character breakdown. And, you know, it was like parents from Hong Kong during the 70s. He grew up in Manchester. And I was like, hang on, this is, this is kind of quite similar to me. And uh, then Alex confessed that he copied uh, my Wikipedia page uh, to kind of coax me in. Really? Yeah, I he didn't did. Know that's, that's kind of clever. Yeah. And I fell for it, being very <laughs> charmed. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll Okay, go on. And yes, yes to anything. Mm. Uh, so, um, yeah. And, um, you know, I dug deeper into the books and the character I was playing, and I just. Uh, you know, I just carry the essence of uh, Dasha with me and with a dash of Liam Gallagher swagger. <laughs> <laughs> and it works beautifully, sir. Beautifully. Um, I had, I, well, I had a slightly different process because I'd worked with David and Dan before, but not Alex. So they kind of, they were stuck with me for whatever, 10 years or whatever, so they kind of knew what I was like. But um, I had a different set of circumstances. I was actually in talks to do another project, uh, heavily talking. Uh, luckily enough, I didn't say yes to it, but we were just talking. And I got a phone call from the two guys, David and Dan, and they, they'd found out I was uh, maybe doing another project, and they instructed me I wasn't. <laughs> and they just said, you're not going with them, you're coming with us. And I just said yes. And I hadn't, I hadn't seen a script, I didn't know what the part was, I didn't know anything. It, it could have been a day's work. Um, but, uh, but they presented me with this character, this fantastic guy to play uh, and that's that's uh, and they asked me to do it and I it wasn't a difficult decision to say yes and what a fantastic uh, role he does play in that you know very steely icy it's just uh, unwavering <laughs> and um, you know we've just come together we're very sort of a chalk and cheese character uh, duo uh, for them to kind of quote unquote save the world yeah as such they are unlikely, yeah. to, an unlikely pair, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's always fun to me no. to see these two um, disparate characters um, who, who dovetail into each other so well. It's great, it's very clever. Well, he didn't audition. I didn't audition for it. I, I got a call from uh, David and Dan early in uh, 2021, I think January 21. And they didn't tell me what the project was. They just said, we, we, we've got a new project coming out for Netflix. It's going to be an adaptation. We're not going to tell you what it's about, but we'd really like you to be involved in it. And, and we've written you a character, A, that, that's not really close to anything you've ever played before and is also closer to your own character than anything you'd ever played before. And, and, and it was, it, I was supremely flattered to be asked because, you know, now that now that they are who they are and they've done what they've done, they could pick anybody for these parts. And it was it j just, just really privileged that, you know, they started off the first act of my career with Game of Thrones and now they kind of kicked off the second act with this and le letting people see parts of my personality and my range that other people who didn't know me quite so well may not have even ever cast me in. So yeah, just grateful for the opportunity and, and grateful for what they've done for my career up to this point and what they're going to do for it, hopefully, go, moving on from this. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I auditioned. Well, I got my agent tour sent, uh, sent me a request to make a self-tape. And um, she was like, we don't know what it, what it is. We don't know what it's about. We have no information. We're not, you know, it's like very, very sort of mysterious and vague. And I was kind of like, well, I don't, I don't really, I don't, like do TV, um, and uh, but she was like, no, but like uh, it's it's Benioff Weiss and Alex Wu who are doing it, and I was like, oh okay, I'll uh, I will make that self tape, um, and so yeah, I made a self tape at home, and then um, I was actually in quarantine. I'd just flown over to England, and I was like in quarantine in the countryside near my mate's house, um, about to shoot this movie I did called Living. Uh, when I heard that they'd liked the tape, but they wanted to meet me um, 
just to chat about it and see if it's a good fit. And the Wi-Fi in my um, <laughs> in my quarantine Airbnb was broken. So I, but my yeah, my, my mate lived nearby, but his wife was pregnant, and we were all terrified of COVID. So I called him and I was like, "Can I come over and like stand outside your house?" <laughs> so he put the Wi-Fi router in the window. And I drove my 20-year-old Renault Scenic <laughs> over and pulled up right next to the window and, and had my meeting with uh, Alex, David, and Dan in my truly dreadful car. Um, but it went well enough that they, uh, they gave me the job, so I guess it wasn't too bad. But yeah, it was quite stressful. <laughs> oh, um, well, before I auditioned, I actually met the guys uh, at their office in Los Angeles just so they could explain the world that we were walking into mm -hmm. because it is such vast and complex material mm -hmm. that I needed the help to be able to just to understand the, the science and then how they were planning to adapt the project. Oh, yeah, everyone was. <laughs> so yeah, after, you know, it was, it was a traditional audition process, you know, you sending your tapes and, and then my final one, I believe, was a chemistry read with Alex Sharp. Mm. Uh, that was kind of like the deciding factor as far as I know. That's whatever they say is, is you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it, was, it was a traditional process for me. I don't know if it was different for, for Um, us. Almost, but more digital, because I live in Aotearoa, New Zealand. So I was actually, and this is COVID time still, when we were auditioning. So I couldn't actually fly over to meet them, because I would be locked out of my country. Uh, so I did a bunch of self-tapes. And then I also had a chemistry read with Alex Sharp. Um, and then... I met the guys on Zoom just to chat. They just wanted to get to know me. And then my final one was a chemistry weed with Sama Usmani, who plays Raj. Um, and I think a week or two after that, they called up and were like, hey, exciting news. <laughs> and I was like, ah! I think I ran around my house five times, like screaming. <laughs> I think I did the audition. She is invited. Well, no. Yes. So mine was a meeting. I had a meeting with them. And if I'm really to be honest, I wasn't very nice to... I feel bad because I, was, I wasn't very nice to David. Stop. At first. You're always nice. I, no, I Ross. really wasn't. Because I like just... Sunshine. I just, you know, I, I'd broken my arm. The, it was the first day my cast was off. And I was like, ugh, I have to drive to go see these guys. And he reached out to shake my hand. I was like... You know, I was not, I was a little, it was probably the grumpiest I've ever been. Um, but it was good for, <laughs> yeah, I guess, because yeah. I didn't know who Ye was at that point. And then yours? I, I, I did like a huge audition. I didn't know it was like for Netflix. I didn't know for Three Body Problem even. So I was, I thought it was a school project because from, oh. from school, there is a, uh, so I'm from SDA USC, and there is uh, SCA friends who would always come to us and saying, Hey, Zine, uh, do you have time? Can you do an audition? I'll always be like, yeah, I always have time for auditions. So I said, yeah. And I got into the audition call, and my casting director, he asked me, Zine, do you have like eight months of your, uh, uh, for, for the uh, shooting period? I'm like... What in earth a student production could take eight months to film? And then I, I, I got into the weeds with the casting director and he told me, oh, we're from Netflix and we're doing this cool show called Three Body Problem. It's adapted from the Liu Cixin's most uh, famous trilogy. And I said, okay. Great, I'm a big fan and I know I'm never gonna get cast. So why not just do it and have fun? It's a learning, precious learning That's process. The best yeah. Of mine. And so I did. That was my first audition story. <laughs> this bitter earth.